Hello, everybody. I'm Sarah. I am a traditional Sui Reiki master teacher, a holistic life coach, and a yoga teacher. And in this video, I want to talk to you about what happens when you're having a spiritual crisis. What does it look like? And what do you do? And why is it happening? And where does it come from? And um, if you like what you hear, then there's a link to join my Facebook group so that you can get more of this awesome insights and wisdom. So, whenever we are experiencing difficulties, uh, suffering, whether it is coming from a problem at work or a problem with your partner or your family or whether it's just a general feeling of unhappiness and being unsettled and a little bit lost or overwhelmed or maybe it's a combination of all of the above because they're all feeding each other and you are just you just know deep inside yourself that you're not where you need to be and you need to do something, but you don't know what. And so you spend all this time and an incredible amount of mental energy trying to understand and rationalize and figure things out and kind of just fix the external issues and manage them in a way that you think that if you do and you can fix whatever it is that you perceive is the problem, you will then find that happiness within. Unfortunately, that's easier said than done because the first step is to realize that in either a conscious or unconscious way, you created the reality of what you are experiencing. Our systems are like movie projectors. They are just constantly creating our external reality. And if you, and why, why are the systems doing that? Well, because we are on this earth to awaken and to heal and to improve spiritually and to raise our vibration from light, from fear towards a place of light and love. And your system, that's its only goal. The mind and the body are just vehicles that your spirit uses in order to achieve that goal. And so when you're experiencing something that you might perceive as negative, you'll be surprised. Oftentimes, it might just be the gate that you have to go through to get to the other side of that awakening that your system is trying to achieve, to get to the other level of light and love and awareness and unconditional love and compassion. And so, whatever perceived troubles and problems you have can be used as a tool to nurture and to step forward into this new energy and this new vibration that your spirit is trying to reach. Um, but if we don't know that, and if we don't take responsibility for that, and if we don't realize that that's what's happening, then our mind begins to hook into all of these problems, thinking that if you just fix this, and if you fix that, and you manage this, and you manage that, you'll find that place of peace. And that's actually what literally drives your mind crazy. This is why you find yourself just arguing in your head with the different versions of reality, or maybe even with people that you wish that you could say thanks to, or whatever the heck. Um, and so what you really actually have to do is you have to look at the crisis, you have to look at the emotions, you have to look at what you're feeling, and then you have to kind of lean into it. And instead of being afraid or pretending that it's not there, or instead of just uh, trying to cope with it and kind of find your center and stay strong, like, no, go in. It's like a blinking light. Your emotions are talking and trying to tell you whatever it is your spirit's trying to tell you. So can you listen to it? Can you actually just sit with whatever it is, whether it's sadness or anxiety or anger or resentment or whatever it is, can you sit and kind of go within and see and feel the energy of whatever's coming up? 
Now, that's easier said than done, because you cannot just sit with the discomfort unless you have trained yourself to sit in the first place. Um, uh, the human system is very interesting. Every time that it gets overwhelmed, it just wants to find that place of being quiet and centered again. And so it will use all sorts of distractions to kind of just find a way to be okay. And so what we do with a mindfulness practice is you learn to just sit and observe and see and accept with an open heart whatever is there, positive, negative, or otherwise. And so whenever you're experiencing something that you perceive as negative, can you lean into it, explore it, and then use it to propel you forward to this place of unconditional love and compassion that everyone on earth is looking for. So instead of resisting, and instead of thinking that whatever suffering and whatever negative event or circumstance, or even if some other person did something negative, can you, instead of perceiving it as negative, can you perceive it as an opportunity because something's then triggered within you and you can then kind of just go deeper and use that to move forward. And so this is the kind of stuff that I talk about and teach in some of my programs. These are just glimpses of it. If it resonates with you, uh, join my Facebook group. I have lots of free content and material and practices and stuff on a library that you can access completely for free. Some of them you don't even have to put your email on to, to get them. And um, if you have any questions, then feel free to send me a message through Facebook. I'd love to connect with you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Namaste.